how to make a really fun faux quilted bag that you can use to give a gift. Click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of our fun crafty videos. You're also gonna need to use our rose tutorial which you can click here to access. So the products that you need are some Colorbox Crafters ink, some of the Colorbox Background Basics stamps by Ann Butler, these are for faux quilting, and a muslin bag. I got these at Uline.com. Um, I put a piece of white paper behind my bag so that when I stamped off the edge of the bag I wouldn't get any ink on my mat. Next you're going to ink up the... Um, stamping blocks with the Colorbox Crafters ink, just like I'm showing here, and create a pattern. And so what I did is I just um, kind of created my first pattern and then I started mimicking it and kind of offsetting it, kind of in a brick pattern, um, instead of doing just regular lined up quilt blocks. And I, I did it at an angle because I wanted it to be kind of a whimsical, little bit type of country um, effect. Now, once all this is stamped, you're gonna iron this. So you'll put like a soft cloth over top of the bag and then iron it with a dry iron to heat set the ink. And this will make it permanent. You can also put it in your clothes dryer, um, but I would put it inside of something because otherwise the ink will get inside of the clothes dryer. All right, once that's all inked up, you're going to iron it and um, it will all be heat set and ready to go. Next, I created this fun flower clip to go on the bag. So I put a bobby pin on a felt circle, put a bunch of hot glue on there, and then I added my flowers. So I had two roses that I had made using that rose tutorial, as well as a store-bought flower. Next, I took some Ofre ribbon and tied a really pretty big bow um, with the ribbon. And you can see here that I'm kind of adjusting it. Like, I don't always get a, a perfect bow on the first try. So you can keep adjusting it till it looks right and then use a pair of scissors to snip a notch in the end. And then I added a little bit of hot glue to that bow so that I could add it to my clip. Now this clip, you could use it in your hair, you could put it on a sweater, or you can keep using it on multiple gifts. I like that it's removable so you could um, use it for a lot of different things. Next, you're gonna fill your bag with spa goodies. So this will be great in a guest room. I have a little hand soap and then some lavender spray to put like on the bed or the pillow before you go to sleep and a cedar sachet to put inside of your suitcase to keep your clothes smelling fresh. And once you tie that all up, it's ready to give. So here you can see the colors of Colorbox Crafters ink that I used to create this really fun faux quilted bag. There's a blog hop going on over at my blog and the Clear Snap blog right now. So click the link at the end of this video to go to my website because we are having a giveaway as well as Clear Snap is having a giveaway. So thank you so much. I hope to see you back here again soon. And please click the subscribe button if you haven't done so yet. Bye.